Hello folks, this is Atanaja from InspiredRash.com and today we are going to teach you how to use the WP Rocket plugin to a really great extent and how to customize its settings for a nice performance and better performance for your website. So the WP Rocket plugin is a paid plugin for WordPress websites and you can use it to customize your WordPress websites to have a better speed and better performance. This plugin uh, has one of the best page caching engines available uh, all around in almost all of the plugins and it's a very uh, decent alternative to many other free plugins out there and it's very easy to use in setup. So let us just show you the settings page. This is the WP Rocket setting page and these are all the options that are uh, shown in your uh, dashboard over here. So when you are in the basic options, you have the options to lazy load content. You can lazy load your images and iframes and videos. Actually lazy load uh, really improves the page load time because it uh, reduces the number of HTTP requests which are reduced, uh, which are uh, used to render a page. For example, when you open a page, the first page content that shows the above the fold content that shows up on the page, that's one of the things that uh, makes up for the whole initial page load. So uh, by reducing the number of uh, images that are required to show the number of HTTP requests that are required to show that initial content uh, by using lazy load mechanisms you can actually improve your uh, website loading time by also lazy loading iframes and videos uh, for example videos that you might have embedded from YouTube etc you can also uh, have a b even better speed uh, and even better loading time files optimization option in the basic options has uh, HTML as well as inline uh, inline CSS inline JS in the HTML and you can also optimize Google fonts so these are all the minification and concatenation options which minify files and uh, combine them in a single file or maybe multiple files for more better parallelization so the HTML has been minified bias because it works nice with our site the inline CSS and inline JS filters would work fine with most sites and might break some things on few sites or where sites where you have custom themes or stuff like that so we would uh, recommend you to use these filters with caution but mostly the inline CSS and inline JS uh, things work great in the HTML and they also uh, reduce the overhead and also uh, make the loading of website much faster you can uh, easily concatenate Google fonts with these. It won't break anything. When it comes to minifying CSS and JS, it's a very tricky thing because when you minify CSS, you uh, have many uh, issues with minification because of many of the files are not actually coded that good to enable better uh, CSS minification. So in case you have uh, minification problems, then uh, just do one thing that uh, go to this URL wprocket.me tools slash tools slash wp hyphen rocket slash debug slash minify enter your url over there get a list of all of the css as well as js files which your website requires to run and then uh, just copy all of those files or copy all of those css and js files and uh, then you just paste them to uh, paste them in the advanced options wherein you can uh, CSS files to exclude from minification, JS files to exclude from minification. You are actually making all of the CSS and JS files not to be minified. And then you have to do a very uh, long process of removing all of those files one by one to see which file when minified uh, causes errors. So that is a very uh, hit and trial method of approach and it would take a lot of time to get it right. But once it's done right, it would enable your uh, website to have much better loading time than before. You can also enable caching for mobile devices which is very really good for you enable caching for logged in users is something we would not recommend because when you are logged in and if you see cached content it would really uh, break down the whole functionality of your website and you can enable uh, caching for pages with SSL protocol in case you use it or uh, otherwise you can uh, just disable it the clear cache lifespan is in uh, is ideally it would be better in the range of seven days or seven plus days or even two three days is fine enough but when it comes to uh, pages which uh, don't have uh, a lot of uh, dynamic content then you can easily set it up to 365 days which stands for one year but when it comes to uh, websites which have a lot of dynamic content and you update your content really uh, fastly then you can have a cache lifespan of 24 hours which is good enough for most of such sites when it comes to advanced options you have an option to prefetch DNS requests in the prefetch DNS requests options you can use all of those external URLs and place them over here all of those external URLs which are uh, present in your site's source code and which from which you might load up some resources so if in case you have them in the prefetch DNS request the browser would anticipate that these are the external domains that your site requires
requires to work properly so it would uh, resolve them initially quickly so this reduces the latency on of those external files all of those external files are uh, then loaded really quickly so uh, it's one of those cool things which you can use to enable for example i'm uh, all of those uh, urls which i use from outside for example the font awesome css and the uh, google fonts uh, url and the google apis jquery url i have just called them in the prefetch dns request that uh, makes it better for me empty the cache of the following pages when updating a post by default when you are uh, updating a post or when a comment you are posting then the home page and categories and tags which are related to that post are automatically purged from the cache and then recreated by the cache bot of the wp rocket plugin but still you can specify few of the pages that you want to be cleared from the cache whenever you update any post and you can also set uh, set uh, for few of the pages to never be cached and you can also set uh, don't cache cache pages that use the following cookies you can uh, just uh, use all of those uh, cookies which uh, are used on uh, for example if you have a e-commerce website or stuff like that you can specify that on pages which use a specific cookie you don't want those pages to be cached for example it could be the product checkout page or something like that and uh, you can also cache pages that use uh, some of the query string par parameters get parameters which uh, require uh, which require you to do some things or which you can you want to be cached and have a lot of static content that you can do never send cache pages for these user agents for example user agents can include a user agents of opera mobile user agent of uh, other browser or few browsers or uh, maybe those browsers which are uh, really old you can uh, allow cache to not be done for those uh, user agents and it's okay and you can reduce the number of css minified files to one file in css and js normally wp rocket plugin does what it does is that it combines all of these files css and js files and then serves them in three or four files or two or three files uh, depending upon how much parallelization it does want to do uh, to distribute all of those resources across a variable uh, file size so that makes for a better performance mode but still if in case you just want one single file for css and js you can always do this you can all uh, also include uh, these are the options to exclude the css files from minification js files which we already told you about and you can also include js files to uh, in your footer for the minification process so that you can uh, have a better uh, minification and uh, it just uh, is it the files are included after the slash body which makes for a better loading experience and you can also defer the loading of some js files which take a lot of time to load up for example there might be js files in your website which are not uh, that necessary for page rendering etc so you can use uh, defer their loading and uh, make for a better initial page response time and apart from this you have the cloudflare option wherein you can just select your cloudflare account email uh, set a api key and set your domain over here and enable the cloudflare settings from here only and you can also purge your cache from uh, here only you can enable the cloudflare setting uh, props uh, this you can enable the best settings for cloudflare just by enabling it on the wp rocket plugin and uh, just by doing this the work is uh, initially done you can enable the cloudflare setting tabs by uh, ticking this option in the cdn option over here and you can also enable a content delivery network in case you use max cdn or a few other cdns right now it only supports max cdn but over time we guess it will support all uh, other cdns also you can disable cdn on https pages for example if you are using a url called cdn1.sitename.com so that you can use that cdn1.sitename.com for uh, reserved for all files or images or css you can parallelize all of those files on the different urls that you have for the cdn and you can also reject files that uh, should not use the cdn for example example those files that you want to serve from your origin cache on your base server tools you can select for the beta tester options you can clear your cache from here you can preload your cache from here where you can uh, request a bot call to preload all of the cache and prime all of the cache of your website you can uh, export all of the settings that you have in the current uh, Uh, installation of your wp rocket plugin you can import settings from a previous installation you can update a rollback for example in case uh, you update your plugin to the latest version and you find that somehow it is not working good enough then you can uh, roll back this and uh, roll back to the previous version and uh, everything would be done enough faq frequently asked questions you can go there and uh, just ask all of the and you can uh, all if in case you bought a support plan with the wp rocket plugin for example we bought a full uh, plugin plan for all unlimited websites then we have a support for all, almost one year or so so you can uh, just uh, share your problems with the wp rocket team and they will get back to you as soon as humanly enough it's possible so uh, these are all the options for the wp rocket plugin it works well out of the box 
it is not as comprehensive as the w3 total cache plugin but still it works great enough so guys this was all for our wp rocket plugin uh, initial uh, settings test and you can always check out our review post on the on our main website and you can always check out the settings on our main website in case you don't want to go through this video but since you have come this far so this was all for our wp uh, rocket settings and guys it takes a lot of time and effort to make such videos please don't forget to hit like and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe to our channel this is aitan from inspiredrise.com signing off folks stay inspiredrise